certainly would help Tinika Everard there, but still to come on the program, TV cooking shows and why they could be bad for our health. People will be digging their grave with their teeth. Delicious, full of flavour and healthy. Bon appetit. High sugar, calorie loaded dishes should be struck off the menu, as Amy Torber explains. Mm, delicious. Who made that? That makes the judges fat, it makes the contestants fat, it makes everybody else who tries it at home fat. I agree that to some people, using half a kilo of chocolate to make 12 biscuits may seem excessive, but I can tell you, I don't put a price on alleviating human suffering. They might boast a swelling TV audience, but has the swelling got out of hand? 63.4% of Australian adults are either overweight or obese, and that makes us one of the fattest nations in the world. We know the ingredients that make their show so popular, but should we be looking closer at the ingredients in their food? These recipes are not an everyday recipe, otherwise people will be digging their grave with their teeth. Nutritionist Karen Milhelm says she's appalled at the recipes being promoted. If they're constantly seeing cooking going over an hour, half an hour, cooking something that is really high in fat and sugar and calories, then that's going to tempt the person to want more of that type of food. MKR winners Dan and Steph left judges wanting more, but Caron warns one piece of the couple's winning dessert will cost you over 2,000 calories. One slice of that peppermint de la slice was more calories than an average woman doing average activity would need in a given day. Never to be outdone, Master Chef's king of desserts, Adriana Zumbo, took the crown for calories. His Zumbo chocolate mousse cake tipping the scales at over 24,000 calories. 24,000! <laughs> now look, the only time that figures should be important to anybody is when they're in your bank. Well, you don't eat that dessert, you just dip a toothpick in it and then suck on the toothpick and that's it. Dorinda Hafner is one celebrity chef who's breaking the mould. After dropping a whopping 80 kilograms, she's keen to share her secrets to success. Releasing a new healthy cookbook appropriately entitled, Honey, I Shrunk the Chef. And Dorinda's keen to emphasise the importance of health, not just weight loss, rejecting model Kate Moss's infamous words. She said nothing tastes as good as skinny does. And I beg to differ, I say nothing tastes as good as healthy does. So I'm afraid, Miss Moss, I challenge you to that. Nothing tastes as good as healthy does. So we've set Dorinda her own challenge to create three healthy dishes, 300 calories or less. Those results later. So many people are tempted to put food into like good category and bad category. And I think it's really important to resist that. I believe all food is good. But unfortunately for Nigella, Caron doesn't see it like that. Some ingredients are better than others, but what does that do to the taste? There are definitely some, some easy ways I can see where you could still maintain almost all, if not all, of the taste and have less than half of the calories. So Caron's going head to head with the big guns, testing out their calorie loaded recipes and showing us her own healthy alternatives. So how did you go? Well, it's really interesting because we've got similar amounts of Indian curries here, but one has double the calories. This is the MasterChef one, is it? And this is yours? Yes, that's the butter chicken. And this one's my recipe, the Indian chicken and pumpkin curry, which has around 444 calories. This one's about 900 calories. So what makes the difference here? We're getting so much more fat in this one with the cream and the butter that's added to the sauce. And according to Caron, you can still enjoy cheesecake, guilt-free. Her Blue Forest recipe contains just 255 calories. That's three times less than Nigella Lawson's. This is a lot higher in fat, particularly saturated fat and sugar, but doesn't have too much nutrition in it. Whereas this one does have the fruit and lots of protein and vitamins and minerals. I think a lot of people um, say, you know, have, that, have a dessert like that and just say, oh, no, you know, I'm going to have to go for a run later or go for a walk. They don't actually realise when you go for a walk, it could just be like 200 calories. So the rest of it stores on your body as fat. Good work, keep going. Your World Fitness personal trainer, Anna, warns that just one slice of Zumbo's mousse cake could cost you eight hours in the gym. It's not like walking on a treadmill. This is like, you know, a personal training session or like sprinting or running quite high intensity. And from the gym to the kitchen, Dorinda's enjoying our challenge. First on the menu is her healthy shepherd's pie. And guess what? Two 
117 calories. Delicious, full of flavor, and healthy. Bon appetit. If you thought that was impressive, wait till you see what she's done for dessert. I'm going to give everybody this dessert, which is only 135 calories. Mango and mint sorbet. How good is that? 40 seconds. But if you're after something a little more indulgent... Chocolate mousse a la Dorinda. And it's, guess what? 300 calories. Dorinda's secret is light and creamy milk. Voila! Our kitchen diva proving you can still indulge, but for a lot less. Look at me. Do I look to you like I'm missing out? I'm happy. It's lovely. Happy, and she looks fantastic too. Now, we'll be back with more in just a moment.